On this week's edition of Jack TV, we take a look at what the school district is doing to help out in the community, as well as get an inside look on a new club at South. Also, find out what fun Halloween activities you could do this year and get some more information on happenings here at South. Jack TV starts now. From Blue Spring South High School, this is the award-winning Jag TV. Hey Jags, welcome back to this week's episode of Jag TV. I'm Micah Story. And I'm Kennedy Stevenson. This past week, both Blue Springs and Blue Springs South High Schools have been collecting items to donate to our local community. Here's Emily with the story. The shelves were empty, so to have this day, it's, it's amazing. The need is now during a pandemic when jobs are lost and the demand for food and supplies are at an all-time high. School kids are stepping up to give back. Every year it's wonderful, but this year especially, um, during a pandemic, we've really needed it. I'm a little emotional watching all the people come in, in and out bringing food. Even with only 60% of students in the classroom, South set a new school record bringing in over 6,000 items. Watching young people give back to their community. It is inspiring because you're the next generation that's going to have to take care of us. It, it really means everything to me. I mean, seeing everything come together and seeing all the items that we were able to collect and just knowing like how many people we're going to be able to help, it, it's a great feeling. Students not only had the chance to donate, but South Senators got the opportunity to step out into the community to accept cash donations for the pantry. Remember, you can donate to Community Service Lake at any point in the year. Thank you to everyone who donated this week to help better our community. I'm Emily Wilson for JAG TV. Looks like the fundraiser was a success. The top three schools with the most donations were Voice Spears Elementary with nearly 10,000 donations, Cordell Mason Elementary with just over 7,000 donations, and Blue Springs South High School with over 6,300 donations, a new school record. Leilani Elliott, a first grader from Voice Spears Elementary, took all of her birthday money and donated it to Community Unity Week. Thank you for helping others in need and keep up the good work. Here at South, we have a wide variety of after-school activities. Here's Abby with more details on our school's newest club. Our goal is to make um, the district a safe space for people of color, and we also want to get as much representation for like people of color throughout the entire school and like other clubs and things like that. Um, we, we also are striving to make sure that we educate allies um, on how to be allies. We educate um, people of color about like where they come from because many people don't know. Um, we want to get as much exposed, we want to get, we want to be able to educate as many people like throughout the community so we're not even just working for the district. Um, we're working on a lot of fun things. You can come up with an idea and we have the resources and we will bring it to you and you can lead our projects. So it's really a people club. Uh, the people lead, not just the officers. This has been Abby Clausen for JAG TV. Be sure to stop by for the next meeting. If you and your family are looking for something fun to do this October, we know of a perfect place for you to visit. Here's Izzy with more. Pumpkin farms are a fall necessity, and this year Faulkner's Ranch is going above and beyond to ensure a great experience for everyone. This year is a little bit different than in years past here at Faulkner's Ranch. Our first step is to limit our capacity, and limiting our capacity means that you just have to purchase your ticket online for the day and the time that you want to come. Um, and it's around a two hour experience since our lines are very short. And of course, precautions are being taken regarding COVID as well. If they're here on the weekends, and the most likely they're gonna to need to wear their mask the entire time. Uh, you'll see lots of hand sanitizer. You'll see lots of spray bottles and water bottles. There are plenty of attractions to explore, with one of the newest being the Green Bin basketball throw. Also, don't miss out on the kettle corn that is being sold this year. It's clear to see that Faulkner's has the perfect family environment. It's like the quintessential family fun fall activity and so we just wanted to get out and enjoy the nice weather. And all my kids really liked the, like playing in the corn and we decorated pumpkins. Keep a lookout for all the special events coming up this month and in November at FaulknersRanch.com. Fall is here so it's time to get back into the community. Faulkner's Ranch is the perfect place to do so. I'm Izzy Roberts for JAG TV. 
Looks like a great place to visit this autumn season. With Halloween upon us, CDC officials have advised against trick-or-treating this Halloween season and have recommended other low-risk activities such as carving pumpkins, decorating the house, Halloween scavenger hunts, and movie nights with family members. However, if you do find yourself out trick-or-treating, make sure to wear a mask, socially distance, and sanitize your candy before opening. Coming up after the break, hear about the release of Apple's newest product and some reminders here at South. Dahlquest Dental has been proudly serving Blue Springs and the community for nearly 40 years. They offer family dentistry to all ages, sedation dentistry, wisdom teeth extractions, and implant surgery. When it comes to insurance, they accept Delta Dental and all PPO insurance plans. And if you're on a very tight budget, payment plans are offered through Care Credit. Find out why so many have trusted Dahlquest Dental for nearly four decades. They're located just off the outer road in Blue Springs. Give us a call or visit us at our website, golfwithdental.com. We'll see you soon. This is Zach at the Culver's in Blue Springs. Just wanted to welcome you all back to school and say hope to see you soon. Our drive through has been open during this whole time. It's actually faster than ever. We got people out there when we need to, and there's too many cars to take orders, um, as well as uh, we're getting you in and out and keeping the line moving. So we got some great products in right now. Uh, we got pretzel bites, we got pumpkin, shakes, concrete, and as well as we have delicious cheese curds and butter burgers all time. At Colonial Gardens, we're shaping hearts and minds through food, flowers, and trees. We have the highest quality plants for your yard and garden, and we offer classes and workshops to guide you along. There's even a market where you can get the freshest products from local farmers. Need a bite to eat? Grab a meal at the local coffee shop and cafe. We are your destination for local and fresh products. Come experience agriculture in a whole new way. Colonial Gardens, located just off South 7 Highway in Blue Springs. Go to our website at colonialgardenskc.com. Welcome to Big Frog, where we make customized t-shirts and face masks in a safe social distancing environment. Let's get started. First, Browse through our huge selection of shirts, which you can find online on our website, bigfrog.com slash independence. Second, send a message to the store about what kind of shirts you're looking for, and one of our awesome designers will schedule a video chat. Third, it's off to our awesome printing machine. Then, it's the best part, the call you've been waiting for. Your shirts are ready for pickup. We are doing curbside service, and we'll bring them straight to your car. Try it today. Call Big Frog and Independence at 816-795-1115. And our website is bigfrog.com slash independence. News from South High School in the city of Blue Springs. You're watching JAG TV. What's up, Jags? In city news, a man has been keeping busy creating art in a special way. Bill Altius has been creating detailed, penciled-in drawings of popular Kansas City buildings and events. Since the shutdown, he has had a lot of time to work on his pieces of art. He loves to excite people and leave them shocked with his amazing artwork. In the state, a public library in Columbia is hosting a drive-by jack-o'-lantern jamboree where people can submit their own carved pumpkins to be displayed in front of the library. Families can jump in their car, get some apple cider, and drive by the library to see all the spooky and fun carved pumpkins. In the nation, the new iPhone 12 is being released soon with some new features. Two of the forms are the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini, both with Super Retina XDR displays. It also comes in 5G and the screen has special glass that is four times tougher than any other phone. The new wide camera brings in 27% more light so you can get more color and detail. The pre-order started the 16th for the iPhone 12 and the mini can be pre-ordered November 6th. That's all for City State Nation. I'm Sawyer Jackson for JAG TV. SOS week is next week. Be sure to check your emails for more information from Dr. Bell. The ACT test will be taking place Saturday, October 24th. Make sure to study hard and get a good night's rest before the test. Seniors, if you didn't like your pictures from earlier in the year, don't worry. Picture retakes are for seniors are October 29th. On November 6th, FCA is meeting for the first time this year. They will have donuts, play games, and have a student speaker. They will meet from 6.50 to 7.20 on Fridays in Lecture Hall. Also coming up in November is our fall play. Unfortunately, because of COVID, spectators will not be able to watch in person, but you can purchase tickets on November 12th through the 14th to watch the play from the comfort of your own home. 
That's all for Reminders. I'm Elise Edwards for JAG TV. Even though we are finally getting used to the changes brought by COVID-19, it's easy to become relaxed with district COVID-19 guidelines. If you or your family member are experiencing high-risk symptoms or have been exposed to a positive COVID-19 individual, the district asks you stay home to lessen the spread of the coronavirus. While in school buildings, be sure to wear your mask at all times. Wash and sanitize your hands regularly and stay safe, stay safe Jags. Coming up, find out what's happening in South Sports, what fun things you could do this spooky season. All this after the break. Don't let pest control your life. Let Moxie Pest Control be your pain relief. That means a thorough inspection and treatment without dangerous chemicals. Experience the Moxie difference at killbugsfast.com. Moxie Pest Control, Kansas City's pain relief expert. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Call your financial representative, Isaiah Bragg, at 816-795-6340. Hey Jags, welcome back to school. This is Brandon Jackley, the owner of chick fil -A Blue Springs. We want to show you some great things we've been doing with our drive through and Brooklyn is going to show us what that looks like. Alright, let's go. Here underneath the big tent, we've got two lanes full of vehicles and we have up to four order takers. Hi, I'm Emily. And here, when you pull up to the speaker boxes, we're going to take your payment so the process goes faster. By the time you get to the window, your food is ready to go. And the last stop you'll make after you get your food is our condiment station where you can get our famous Chick-fil-A sauce. Come see for yourself at Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs, across from Home Depot. Come see us soon. JAG TV Sports is sponsored by Rod Sports of Blue Springs. football team took on our crosstown rivals in Blue Springs last week. The Jags started off the game hot, scoring on two of their first three drives. Luke Feller scored off a 17-yard touchdown run that put the Jags up 6-0 after a missed PAT. The Jags then scored on the next drive on a five-yard run by Jaden Steele, making the game 13-0. The Wildcats then came back on fire after half, defeating the Jags by a score of 28-13. Next week, the Jags head down to Liberty North for their last regular season game. Good luck to our Jaguars. Around the area, Park Hill defeated Lee Summit North 27-10. Liberty North defeated Lee Summit West 22-15. Rockers defeated St. James 44-29. Ray Peck beat Liberty 35-7. Park Hill South beat Lee Summit 37-34. The softball team played in the district tournament last week, defeating Raytown on Tuesday to advance to the district semifinal. The Jags then beat Lee Summit in a semifinal game by a score of 5-4 to compete for the district championship. Unfortunately, came up short, losing by a score of 9-0 to Lee Summit North. Congrats on a great season, Jags. The volleyball team hosted Park Hill on Tuesday night, where the Jags fell short of the Trojans, losing in three sets. On Thursday night, the Jags took a trip down to Liberty, where they again lost in three sets. That's it for this week's edition of Sports. I'm Ty Campbell. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Show your support and appreciation for teachers and staff at South by sending them notes telling them why you appreciate them and what makes them so special. Students can send a note online by filling out a form in your Microsoft Teams as well as stopping by Senate's table during your lunch period to send a handwritten note. All notes will be delivered later this month, so make sure to complete them before then and show South teachers we care. Um, I really appreciate all the things that the teachers at South do for their students. You can tell that they really care about us and that they just like work really hard to make sure that we are successful here, and I appreciate that. South has announced this month's Students of the Month. Congrats to Cooper Doolin, Crystal Ramirez, Tamia McClooney, and our very own Emily Wilson. Now, here's Avery with more fun Halloween activities for the month of October. Step right up! Due to COVID-19, Halloween is going to look a lot different this year. Though trick-or-treating may not be a safe option, Blue Springs has a lot to offer. Here's how one story is keeping the spirit of the holiday alive, though it may not be the most ideal year. The year of 2020 is actually a rough, pretty, say, 
kind of good, kind of rough during the holidays, like such as Halloween. It's almost around the corner, as you guys could tell. Um, I do get it, a bunch of people don't like going out this year, especially this year, because of big old pandemic difference, which nobody knew in the world was gonna happen. Make sure to stop by Spirit Halloween this Halloween season, located at 1030 Northeast Coronado Drive in Blue Springs, Missouri. After you pick up your costume from Spirit Halloween, make sure to check out these fun and safe options to celebrate the holiday. On October 30th from 4 to 8 p.m., Blue Springs 8 Theater will be hosting their Flick or Treat event where they will have socially distanced trick-or-treating outside and 50 cent movies if you order tickets ahead of time. Another fun and safe option is Pink Hill Park's Haunted Candy Cruise. Drive around and trick-or-treat with local vendors, all from the safety of your car. This event will take place October 30th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Pink Hill Park in Blue Springs, Missouri. Be sure to check out all the options that Blue Springs has to offer this Halloween season. This has been Avery Rayler for JAG TV. Looks like there are plenty of festive activities to do this month with friends and family. That's it for this episode of JAG TV. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and at JAGTVNews.com.